and welcome to the Knit Girls. We're starting, apparently. <laughs> Do you want to start over? No. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Knit Girls. Oh, y'all, it's been a day. <laughs> this is episode 494. 94. We're recording at my house, because my mom's here, and Leslie and I both tested negative for COVID, yep. so that's awesome. Um, but between, like, my car needing new tires and, um some stuff that's going on at work, like textbooks disappearing out of the database that I work with. It's just been a day. <laughs> and so it's been kind of crazy. And it's not over yet. So no. we're cramming this in. <laughs> it's three o'clock. We're shoehorning this in with no show notes. We're just doing it live. Mm. So. Like here, back in the day. Here's hoping. Like 10, like episode one, Nick Girls. Mm. <laughs> But neither of us have a ton to show either. But a hundred and something pounds more to love. <laughs> I mean, there is that. Yeah. So, okay. Um, did you just start a row? Do you want to talk? Do you want me to talk? Uh, if, you, uh, if you can talk, yeah, that I can, would be amazing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, we should probably preface this with we're super not prepared. Neither of us really has anything to show. <laughs> Um, and we're a little bit rushed, but we <laughs> wanted to actually record something. So, what am I working on? Um, I'm crocheting squares. Super exciting. Again, it is for the, uh... It's for a blanket. For a blanket. It'll be in the show notes. I'm just going to copy last week's show notes and I'll update it with whatever is new. I'm using some acrylic yarn from Michael's. Um, is it Premiere? Is that the brand? impeccable? Oh, impeccable! From loops and threads. There you go. Super fancy. Just a three-row granny. It's squares. Perfect for blankets, though. Like that, you're gonna toss into. A... Oh yeah, it needed to be machine washable because I have pets. So. Do you have pets? Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> so, I'm using a size H hook. Uh, they take about ten minutes, fifteen minutes a piece. Uh, Which color number is this? Did you bring your little key ring of colors? No, I think it's 11 or 12. Color 11 or 12. Oh, wow. So, so you could get that done for a stash I could, theoretically. I think I've got two more colors I want to do, and then it'll be ready to lay out and figure out how I want to put it together. So, there's that. And then the only thing I've really knit on this week is the shadow something. Shadow lines. Uh, with a paper pattern i'm so impressed well this was because i took this to scotland and yes. i wasn't sure when we, if we were going to have internet access all the time or what so um and it's 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 not a super difficult pattern you do one side and then you do the exact same thing on the other but i think you invert the colors on the other side i haven't I have to go back and look. you haven't read that far no i haven't read that far <laughs> i know that shocks you so um you start this, it's a rectangular stole, and you start it like a triangular shawl until you get to a certain size. Then you put half of the stitches on a holder, and then you knit the other half across. So this is the center part. You've made some serious progress on that, I feel like. Do this you want me to hold This is the, the brioche part. This is what I was, the last part that I worked on in Scotland. Um, and then this is the garter stripes part. Ooh, this feels really nice, too. Yeah, it's a, it's a wool. I want to say it's merino. Uh, and so I did, I don't know, six of these color stripes, and then you do thicker color stripes. And I think I've got another, like, 12 rows, and then I go to a single color brioche to finish off this side. And then I pick up and do the same thing again on this side. Okay. So this is um, Triskelion Olwyn Fine in like Mulberry, I think, and My Foxy Darling. My Foxy Darling. Such a good name. Oh, it's not Merino. It's Falklands. Oh, it's Falklands Merino. Falklands is an area, not a type of sheep. I forget that sometimes. Yes. So, yeah. It's really nice. And Amy got this for me. Amy uh, Stranded Dye Works got this for me at the... Um, I Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Thank you. I couldn't remember it last week. Can't remember it this week. I forgot a uh, fizzy water in my freezer this morning <laughs> and it exploded, but I can remember where you got that yarn from. Um, 
what else am I working on? Oh, the only other thing I'm working on, I just got and started. Um, this is a, it's an embroidery stitch sample. That's cute! And I've done them from this lady before, Kir Kiriki Press. And it looks like a little knit cabled Aran sweater. That's super cute. She's on um, Etsy. That's where I got this. But she also has her own site, kurikipress.com. Uh, we are not sponsored by her. I just like her stuff. So I go. got it ready to go. I haven't actually started it, but um, I will later today. So I like her samplers because it you learn as you as you do it, and then you've got a permanent record of how That's to do cool. it. So so what color thread do you have for it? The colors that it came it came oh, with the, like the tan, tan and then the darker sort of khaki. Um, uh, yeah, so. That is ready to go, but I haven't started it yet. So this on call week left me almost no time for crafting. So <laughs> and I've been up at work um, quite a bit as well. So it's been because we go back to school on my day. So it's been kind of intense around here. Yeah. I am working on a bounce blanket by Tin Canets. Everything I'm working on this week is Tin Canets. Yeah. Um, this is the stroller slash car seat size. It'll be around a thirty by thirty. I'm on the third color. I think, had I just started the third color? I think so. Last week, so I am um, about to do the third lace repeat of the third color. So it's four of each color is what I decided to do. Uh, this is Neighborhood Fiber Company. And it is their DK weight base. And it's the shades of turquoise pack. And then um, the Air. green is Bel Air. And I have about this much left of Bel Air, so like maybe half a skein left. Um, so we'll see. And it is five different colors. I think I'm going to have to break in. I have two cakes of the Bel Air. So you're halfway through it. Yes. Yeah. I'm just about at half. And I'm using um, some Licka interchangeable, not interchangeables, Licka fixed the six on six. size six. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, so I knit a little bit on this this week, uh, and then, can I do finished objects? You're done with yours? I don't yours. have any finished yeah, objects, okay. so. So, um, my finished object is a snap hat, also by Tin Can Knits. This is the small adult size. I was going to change the colors throughout, and then uh, my mini skein, and that dark blue lasted the whole thing. I did not anticipate that. So, it's not meant for me. It's a small adult, so it's going to one of my friend's kiddos, but a little bit more length would be perfect. I really like this pattern. You hold four strands of uh, fingering weight together. What size huh? needle do you use? I used, um, so you're supposed to use like a seven for the ribbing and then like a ten and a half for the body. I used a nine for everything because I was too lazy to I mean, fair. Uh, go get out more needles. Um, and apparently I missed <laughs> I'll have to pull it through. The I have ourselves. one thread that's loose right there, so I'll have to pull it through to the other side. Um, like I missed one stitch with that light gray. That light gray is Urban Girl Yarns. The dark gray is um, Volmiza Graf Rots. Uh, the light blue is Dream in Color Smushy in, like, that light turquoise color. And then the blue was a mini screen. This is great for when you get, um, if you go to, like, a retreat and in your goodie bag there's a whole bunch of, like, little mm -hmm. mini skeins. Like, dyers give you a little taste. Yeah. So this is a great way to use up those. And that, that was a mini skein from um, Leading Men Fiber Arts that was included in their goodie bag for knitting at the estate. So, yeah. Um... That is my one finished object for this week. Now I'm looking to see if I missed any <laughs> other any place else. And you knit it, right? So you knit it so it's stockinette. So you knit it this way out, and then you just flip it inside out when you're done. Yep. I might put a pom pom on it. I haven't decided. You could we'll get see. one of those ones that you can take on and off that have a little snout. Yeah, I'll have to look and see. Um, what I'll ask Becca what Nick wants, like if he's a pom pom kid or not. Yeah. Because you know, boys can be opinionated. Not that you know anything about that nope. at all. <laughs> so my wee little hat, and I'm counting that as using a skein because it used like four skeins. 
of leftovers. I mean, skeins is... <laughs> Four bits of leftovers, but go. it weighs as much as a skein of yarn would. So we'll see. You're only competing against yourself. I'm not competing against anyone. Because I've already won Stash Dash for me. <laughs> I mean, there's no hope of me catching up, so. Uh, for spinning, I will show you. My mom was like, just show them your wheel. <laughs> so over here in this messy, messy area, that's a mini spinner. And I am in the process of applying eight ounces of Nestlets from Nest. Um, this is my messy, messy house. But yeah, uh, so I am probably have around two ounces still to go. Um, so the singles were spun on the Daedalus. They were. The singles were spun on a Daedalus Starling. And then it's being applied on my mini spinner on the... Um, Wooly Winder. Sorry, I messed that up. Yes, you did. It's so super quiet, they can't even tell I'm spinning. Mom's spinning on the Daedalus right now. Also. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the house where books get stacked to places. <laughs> and then I bring more and stack more. And yeah. my mom brings more. <laughs> so, I come by it honestly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it. But you have spinning because you spun on your Sterling the other night. I do. Um, Someone's at my front door, y'all. That's the ring doorbell noise. I feel like, uh, what is it, um, Mr. Rogers, where he goes and oh. answers the door. Uh, yeah, so I've actually spun four entire ounces. Yay! Of, um, this is As You Wish by Into, Into the, the World. World. This is a 75% BFL, 25% silk blend. Uh, I spun this during my on-call week. There were several calls where I was up at 2 a.m. and on the phone until 8 a.m. So there were points where I could, where I was waiting for things so I could spin. Um, I just finished one of the second bobbin last night, so I didn't want to apply it yet. I wanted to let it sit overnight. So I'll apply it and show it next week. Um, There'll be all the spinning next week. Yeah, it's nice to have the, the Starling, the Daedalus, because it's like, I could spin on a call and no one would know. It's silent. Yeah. I mean, it's... For, for noise-averse me, it's lovely. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so um, these bobbins are really large. Uh, it doesn't look like I spun much because the bobbins are so big. They'll hold around 12 ounces of singles. Yeah. And most... Well, bobbins for most traditional, like, castle... Um, their Saxony wheels are usually around three to four ounces. So yeah. um, these hold a lot more. So, um, yeah. That's all of the spinning that I have. I'm shocked I have any at all. I'm glad that you have some, though. Um, what are you going to spin next, do you know? I have no idea. Um, Mom's giving you uh, encouragement and saying that's a lot. <laughs> Um, it's not a lot, but you could. You it's could a lot for more. me. It's a lot for you. <laughs> for a week. I was trying to convince Leslie that we should make a deal for every two pounds I spin that she spins four ounces. So I'm ahead of take... you. <laughs> no, I spin three pounds this month. <laughs> I spun two and a half pounds this month, I think. Um, I don't know what I'm going to spin next, but. Um, you got some pretty hip strings the other day. I did get some pretty hip strings it's in the warm woolen mittens, uh, brand, which is yeah. really nice. So that's always a possibility. And I could spend four ounces on each bobbin, which would be nice. And yeah. like a really big skein when I was done with that's it. That's what I'm doing. Like that was eight ounces. So four ounces on each. Yeah. Well, um, you weren't even halfway full. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, there's plenty of space on them. That's for sure. Um, as far as reading, I'm still reading the Alice Worth series. Ooh, I started a new series. Actually, I started and finished a new series. It was that good, and I want to tell you about it. Yeah, well, I, I'm on book four of five of the Alice Worth series. Um, the benefit of being up super early during my on-call week is sometimes I was finished, like, around seven in the morning, and so I could sit outside, and it was only, like, 75 before the sun was really up, and I could sit outside in the hammock and read for a little while, oh, which was nice. Good. So, I started a series. It is male, male, werewolf, like, serial killer, kind of like C not CIA, FBI type mm -hmm. offshoot. And it, the first one is called 
The Wolf at the Door. So these are adult books. And they are by Charlie... Cochet? No, no. A.D. Although they're similar to her third series. Yeah. She has a new one that just came out. I read it last night. Um, she does that series where it's like they're named after playing cards. Like Ace, Joker. Have you read those? Mm -hmm. They're good. I like those a lot. They're also male-male romance with um, action, like serial killer yeah. type things. Um, and then she has the third series, Charlie Crochet does. This is Charlie A-D-H-A, let me get, A-R-A. -A. Sorry, the Kindle sound was blocking. But they're good. I really, really enjoyed them. They're suspense, um, mystery, with a little bit of romance. There's four out right now. The fifth one's being written. So yeah, I enjoyed them immensely. So that is what I read I read adult stuff this past week, which was a nice change. Adult fluff. I um, um, started yeah. a new sci-fi series, um, Falling Free by Lois McMaster. Lois Bajor. Bajor McMaster, yeah. yeah. And it's... Um, I think I have most of her books in paperback. I don't know yet... I don't know that there's romance to it. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm only a couple hours into it, but... Usually it's more like space opera. Yeah, well, this is definitely set in space, and there's a company that, like, created these this <laughs> new race of humans where instead of having arms and legs, they have four arms because they're set to work in, like... Um, oh, like factory situation. Type thing. Like they're yeah. the engineer to be more efficient in like no gravity, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Um, but they're at least right now they're considered property and not people. So uh, huh. I imagine this book is going to have something to do with that changing. Or at least I hope yeah. so. Um, and I started a new series on Netflix. Um, something about Vikings. I want to say Norse something, but I can't remember what it's called, but it's a humorous take on, on okay. like Vikings and, uh, you know, what it was like to be, um, not like a big burly go out and pillage villages. Well, you Viking. like the how to train your dragon type franchise too. So I yeah. can see that being I like similar. the, the concept of, um, Norse history. I mean, it's certainly not uh, full of rainbows and flowers, <laughs> but it is interesting at least. Um, what else? I don't know that I have anything else exciting to talk about. We have a uh, fail along tomorrow on Saturday. Yeah. yeah, that's tomorrow on August first, and then we have another one in August. It's like the fifteenth or nineteenth. It is. I will tell you. It's a Wednesday. Because it's on my calendar. It's the nineteenth. Okay. Apparently, I didn't actually put it in there. It's just this new event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we have um, tomorrow. It's going to be yart. Which is like <laughs> you feed yarn through this like pen, and it sticks to like this uh, sort of velcroy background, and you kind of draw with it. Something I found at Joanne's on clearance, and I thought <laughs> this would be funny if we screwed it up. So um, we're gonna do that tomorrow. I can't. The other one next month is origami. Yeah. So lots of things to screw up. Yeah. Um, For sure. Especially with people who have trouble with straight lines. So. Mm, always. Uh, what else? Oh, that's about it. Yeah, I don't have anything else exciting to talk about. Gosh, we're only at 19 minutes. <laughs> I mean, you're getting your money's worth this week, let me tell you. <laughs> um, it's a short one. But, yeah, like we said, we're it's the middle of the day. Laura's still got stuff she's got to get done. And, I have um, to go buy tires. Yay! Yay, being a grown-up. It's so exciting. And I promised my kid I would help him season and decide how to make his chili. So <laughs> I have an exciting night ahead of me. Um, but, yeah, we thank you guys so much for continuing to watch our ridiculous show. We're over 10 years now, so, um, <laughs> so, the super ridiculous show. Yeah. So, you guys have a lovely week, weekend, and we'll talk to you again next yeah. week. Bye, y'all. Bye.